Hey guys, it's Adela with Dean's Dolls. Uh, I know it's been like what five months since I've last made a video, and these are all pre filmed. Like, I'm just gonna do like a sit down talk, what's been going on, update, what the channel is gonna be going towards, that kind of thing. And if you are into that, continue watching. If you're not into that, continue watching because there will be more less sit down and talk type of videos i will go back to the you know the series and all that kind of jazz so my last video that i uploaded for you guys was the wyborn episode two and basically i'll just explain what's going on in the video before in case you guys are like what is going on so i bought a balcony off of etsy from this creator called biddy wood she's no longer on etsy but she was at the time when i bought this which was like all the way november the guys that's how long ago it was but i didn't get it until like uh three months later i don't know the, you do the math i'm not gonna try to figure that out right now but that's just it so i'm unboxing it and just kind of figuring it out right now but i was gonna use it for wyborn of course so that i could it could be maya's bedroom balcony that type of thing because my lives in an apartment with her mom Chriselle and that's the whole dynamic with there so you can see me setting it up and all that jazz so back to why I've been gone <clears throat> so I've been gone because it's just been a lot going on I've been working and I went on a mission trip right before I started my hiatus and I had a whole video plan with the Brad Stalls and these Barbie Pumas. I was trying to do the video before I went to the mission trip. Literally, uh, it was like 4 a.m. and I was doing this. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have to be there early in the morning to meet the bus and all that. So I was like, you know what, forget it. So then after I came back, I just didn't have the willpower to continue making videos. Like I was just burned out. Like I had videos, two videos every week but by then. So it was just so tough and then I just, got used to the hiatus and didn't come back and then I just had work and then I had school and it was just a lot going on at the time and then I got involved with this Christian group and then I did a summer camp and it was just a lot of things I was putting myself in that I didn't have the energy to actually continue but I stuck with them praise God because it'd be it's, <laughs> guys if you know my issues with commitment that's why I'm that's why I'm not even surprised that I took this long of a hiatus from YouTube but I always bounce back I always bounce back like if you look through my videos there were like huge gaps from early on when I started like 2017 and then I stopped didn't do videos for till 2018 like that kind of jazz but honestly what's to come with this channel I'm gonna continue Wyborn I already have the script done for episode 3 I have all episodes up to episode 14 done but since I wrote those episodes when I was a teenager I do edit them just to make sure that it's what's supposed to be seen or that's what i still view for the characters so i did edit episode three yesterday and i made sure to have it have the dialogue and the plot make sense because it was kind of iffy when i went back and read them so it's all good everything's great and i'm also gonna have a behind the scenes of a wideborn how i created all that kind of jazz so you guys will see that because you know i don't get keep over here i really couldn't care less and i'm also gonna uh have unboxings i have so many dolls yeah so don't think i'm i got out of dolls i don't like dolls anymore it's not for me no i'm still buying i'm just not recording <laughs> so yeah we're still active i'm also gonna get active on instagram as well because i'm trying to do a whole rebrand like i got i went private on the account and then i um took all my photos archived them so i'm just gonna go back and kind of start over because i feel like my old photos that's not who i am anymore you know that's not who i want to be that's not who i want dean stalls to represent so we're not going to do that anymore so i'm definitely getting that out and i'm going to go back out of private and just kind of go back i have new photos i've been taking i think now my photos are all just going to be well edited well photographed from cameras and i have a new phone as well iphone 13 so that's also going to be taking photos because before I, my old phone it just wasn't up to par that i needed it to be so that's the photos that were on there and some even for my old old phone which was the iphone 6 so that's no we're not having that so and we're not so that's why it's gone so we're gonna have just brand new content 
and I'm also gonna do just more sit downs I think just like because there's so much going on in the doll community and I'm thinking this is just a thought of having Instagram doll stories like I want I follow this one account LaBella Hills and it's so good and I think like there's too much to do like to record and make a scene and set and all that which I love to do but it slows me down and takes it away from Wyborn. So I think if I do that with a doll story that I have in mind, like a reality show type thing, or even just make it like a, a reel every time, you know, like little short clips and just have you guys, those who don't have YouTube or have less of an attention span, that could be for you there. So that's what I'm thinking as well. Have like a little Instagram story for like a doll series but specifically on instagram which i will promote here just so you guys know like since i have more um of a following here than i do on instagram so I'll just to let you guys know hey this is what's going on on instagram go follow that and i just want to say i just want to shout out some youtubers that really what make me go back into the realm of doll collecting and all that because i was still doll collecting but i wasn't so into dolls as i used to be before i went on the hiatus so I just want to give a huge shout out to my froggy stuff like I just love Toya and Bella and just they made me want to go into doll um, creating in the first place I started watching them when I was like 12 years old I am 21 like I've been watching those people for a long a long time so them I also would like to thank um, delightful dolls as well like her stories to get into that I've been wa watching them just love how she creates her sets definitely made me go back into the doll realm as well even people like LaBella Hills on Instagram the doll collectors on Instagram like it's just been a dream just watching them and seeing how they are plus new doll line just came out naturalistas love love I have all four of the dolls I don't have grace couldn't find her but is she discontinued because like I couldn't find her on Amazon either like we're homegirl but it's okay we we will wait we will wait but yeah i'm just like so into all the dolls even the monster high is coming back i wasn't able to collect monster high when it came out in 2010 because i was a child and i didn't have my own money my mom didn't think buying dolls was important i only got them at christmas and it was just one doll like it, we was not collecting nothing over that time so now that i have money of my own i'm an adult i started collecting monster high i got like three of the creep productions except draculaura and then i have three of the haunt coutures thank god oh my gosh to get those dolls was crazy but i was able to get them and there will be reviews for them as well and i'm about to have a anniversary of the first episode that i released of Wyborn, which is in october which is exactly on the day of halloween october 31st was when i first released the first episode which We'll have like a huge special, probably. Don't quote me on that. I'll probably just do an episode, whatever. But it'll be nice, you know, something, something interesting. So I'm just, there's just so much to come. So thank you guys for sticking with me. I've seen that I've been still getting subscribers. Thank you, even though this channel was low-key dead. But thank you for bringing it alive. So if you enjoyed this, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and have a great day.